Hello, everybody, and welcome to New Life Plus. I am your host, Eric Merritt, joined today by two extraordinary gentlemen. I've got Tom Azar with me. Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, thank you. How are you? <laughs> Great. <laughs> then John Mazur. John, what's going on? Hey, man, how are you doing? Good, good. Yeah. All right. Hey, man. <laughs> so, welcome to New Life Plus, oh, guys. Come on, man. <laughs> This this goes right into our topic conversation today. So we this is our new podcast. It's gonna be kind of a um, free flow conversational podcast. Um, we might end up going off on some tangents, being kind of obnoxious and annoying. But we're gonna start today by talking about what it's like to talk to an audience. This is our first time for all three of us, kind of talking with a recording device in front of us. So it's kind of weird, you know. Um, what do you guys think? It's a little nerve-wracking, I'm not going to lie. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I have a tendency of talking a lot and sometimes just going on rambles and stuff. So, I mean, you know, I don't know. I mean, it, it's going to be fun, though, I think, nevertheless. Yeah, I think... <laughs> Go ahead. I, I think... Oh, I, I was just trying to find my water, sorry. Okay. <laughs> See, I think that's going to be one of the hardest pieces of this is finding a flow. Like, we've, we've always been talking to each other for fucking years um, without any problem. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> we, it's actually we were making a joke before this. That, um, we weren't sure if we were gonna actually have swearing or not. We kind of decided minimal at best, so it's not gonna be explicit. And we might actually just throw in some little, uh, some little blips to bleep things out if we decide we need to do You'll that. You'll find out. Um, but we're gonna try to be family friendly. <laughs> wow. Subscribe. Subscribe. Wow. We're, we're gonna. Try... <laughs> I don't even know where this is going. We're going to try we're, we're gonna What are you try trying to, keep to? It PG. What? We're going to try to keep it PG. Okay. Yeah, uh, so we're going to keep it PG. But I think, the, like, we've experienced right now one of the kind of biggest things about podcasting that we're going to have to get around to is, like, no one's in the room with us. They'll be listening. So when we, we're talking, we got to... It's so difficult when you're talking to a microphone to be aware of what everybody else is doing and what they're, you guys are saying. Because we, like, we don't want to talk over each other because it gets noisy and right. ridiculous. Um, so that's one of the hardest parts, I think, is what this is going to be like. Um, and also keeping those... Tom over here is just them. like, oh my god. Tom can't handle this. Dude, it's kind of nerve-wracking. I don't, I, I don't know how to keep a flow of a conversation going with like not interrupting people. What's the thing? It's like, individually, we're all... I, I'd like to say we're all very good at talking to people. Like We all interact with people. We've all been, we obviously have a lot of friends. We talk a lot. Um, but once you're like, you're supposed to talk, it's so weird to be like, oh, what uh, yeah, I, say? I guess, yeah, that's true. Yeah, There's I mean, the... yeah, I, I think also it's it's different, really. When well, it comes to like also like who you talk to as well. Like if you're talking to strangers and stuff like that, like or like a group of strangers or something like that, or like you know, for me, like I'm in nursing school, and you know, with when I go to clinicals and stuff like that, you know, sometimes I have to actually, you know, well, of course, talk to the patients, but also talk to the patient's family, and that like can be a lot of it can be challenging. Well, not challenging, but more like very. Like stressful at first. Yeah, it's difficult to know how. You're uncomfortable. Yeah, you're well, a little like, uncomfortable. You're literally like because you're putting yourself in a whole new like environment. Mm -hmm. So well, in a way, it's kind of like the same thing as being in, in doing podcasts. For me, when I talk to, I'm a real, realtor. Um, so it's like when talking to clients, it's almost easier than this because I know what I'm supposed to say. I know how I'm supposed to act. Yeah, and you're gonna get a feedback too. Yeah, exactly. So it's like when I go and interact with the client, it's very much oh. Hello, this is what we're doing. This is what I need to talk about. This is what I need to inform you on. This is what you need to learn. That sort of thing. But talking about in a group, normally it's just we're talking in a group. It's fun. But it's like when we come down to a podcast, it's like I need to talk to you guys. I need to be entertaining or at least some will. Some oh, I'm very entertained by this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to stutter too much. Try not to. <laughs> Tom, what are your thoughts on this? I don't know. I feel like podcasting is like talking to a girl that you like and like. How do I impress you? Yeah, right. And you start yeah. jumbling and mumbling your words, and then you try, and then you overcompensate, and you're like, "Oh my god, did I just say that? I'm an idiot." <laughs> <laughs> start overthinking. You're like, "Why did I say that?" Sentence Tom has ever said. <laughs> Tom, what's a girl? Please uh, explain. Uh, well, they some of them have long hair, but some of them don't. Some of them, I can't I can go on like this all day, guys. Don't 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 make me. Actually, I will. Oh, so the, okay. So Please stop. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> We're oh God. No, Josh was a girl at high school at one point. <laughs> what? We should get rid of that. We part. all. Yeah, I think yeah. all of us had like those really long hair phases. Yeah, but we should get rid of the part where I just. <laughs> what you even do? I don't even. Know. We, we we can cut things out if we need. Thank to. God. Um, that one I just. just you like, guys aren't gonna hear what we just heard, but it was bad. <laughs> it was very bad. I don't even know what Tom said, but it was bad. I couldn't. 
<laughs> Spandex just like would randomly throw stuff in while we're talking. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like that was horrible, but like not actually have anything beforehand. So the audience is like, what were they saying? Wait, what time was that when what we said was that? It? I'll, I'll listen to this. Okay, all right. And, all right. Well, anyway. Pull out, wait, pull out and throw some dead space or whatever. So, um,. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think just talking, you know, in general is sometimes, it's it's nerve-wracking. Depending on your kind of mood, too, I think from a, you know, well, depending on what time of day it is, too. Some people talk better in the morning, some people talk better at night. You know, it depends, like, how awake they are, too, like, how much sleep they got. And this gets really scientific now, so I'm like, but, I don't know, I get, like, the nitty-gritty details. Suddenly John's explaining everything. Uh, oh, the hormones and the estrogen and not all, not all, not all, and the testosterone. Anyway. I have six yeah, well, like, estrogen. Even, like, that is, like... And things like that is like it's there's so much pressure to feel like you need to talk intelligently but not just intelligently but in a i don't know i don't want to say a fake way an but, educated way in a but very like you want to talk like you know what you're talking about and like you're an interesting person without but you don't want to not be yourself so it's really hard to not sound forced um but yeah we're gonna try it out and see where things go yeah i mean i'm excited i think this is gonna be fun we have some topics we have uh written down and stuff um yeah well, well we won't save them now because we're gonna keep this a surprise until later <laughs> it's all a surprise it's, it's also a surprise surprise to us as, no, as much yeah, as it is so, you guys. Yeah. Um, um yeah but no I'm, I'm excited i think this is gonna be i think it's gonna be good um so i want to move on to actual conversation we want to keep like we're saying we're gonna keep it real flowy we're gonna keep it just kind of us spewing nonsense at you guys. Like um, Fabio's hair. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it'll be very much... Um, spewing balderdash. Spewing balderdash. <laughs> this, you guys, we, we have a recording of us trying to come up with a name for this podcast. We finally saw it was, on New Life Plus. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. It Holy is crap. so difficult to be creative. When you're forced to be creative, the, which is comes back to this whole podcast thing. It's like when you really want to think of a name, we ran into so much trouble of we come up with these great ideas and we'd like, oh, OK, I've got an idea in my head. But then you realize you in your head is just the name of another podcast or another show or a movie or something. It's like, oh, well, yeah, like a board I, game I, or something like that. Yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, <laughs> not the, to name names for the, for the longest time. I was like, yo, the game of life sounds so good. They're like, that'd be a great name. And I was like, that's actually a board. That's game. That's actually a board game. That's so we can't really use that. Game. Yeah. So we, we settled yeah. on New Life Plus, which is kind of a play on words for a lot of video games. You get kind of. Yeah. And like also, I think, you know, New Life, it's kind of like because we're, you know, 23, almost 22, 23, 24. Some of us. We're about to leave Tutorial Island, fam. <laughs> yeah, we're about to leave Tutorial Island, and like I'm, like I'm on September 30th. I'm turning 24, so it's kind of like we're starting, like, uh, like all of us are kind of like that point in our lives where like we're almost adults, but we're still, you know, we, we don't st- feel it yet. We don't feel it yet. I think it's at some point, of course. I think you know. Well, it's, I'd also, I'd also, I think you know, it comes at certain points for other people. Like you know, we could be. Someone could be 22 and living on their own, or someone could be 27 still living in their mom's basement. I mean, you know, I think it depends really, you know. Yeah, we're all kind of in that weird spot. Yeah, I think it's definitely a weird spot. We're adults and we're expected to act like adults, but we don't know how to yet. And And I think that's part of life. Yeah. Because I don't think there's no rule book on how to actually adult. No, I think everybody's kind of winging it. We're all just like, yeah, we all have our own Whoever fucks up the least is is doing well. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's going to be interesting, for sure. Um, but, yeah, going forward. <laughs> um, but yeah, so is, is this where the kind of the title comes from? We had a long conversation about that. Maybe we'll release it. Um, we can maybe release it later on, like, uh, just kind of as a... Forever, later. I, I don't even know how to, like, say it. It's just kind of like a little blooper reel kind of thing. We'll re- <laughs> release oh, our that was blooper magic. Oh, my <laughs> God. God. That was <laughs> just, wow. <laughs> See, but that's the kind of thing. It's like I feel like those kind of conversations where we're just trying to do something, and just you clearly haven't seen my college career. <laughs> <laughs> we're just kind of fumbling about. It's kind of the, where it's come the comedy gold comes in our group. Fumbling with dignity. <laughs> yeah, we had some we we had some interesting names. We tried. What were some of them we had? We had fumbling with dignity. We stammering. Had... St- yeah, stammering. Was that what you said? Stammering to him. Stammering with dignity. I've well, done a lot of yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> we tried to sound too smart. Spewing um, bold dash. Spewing, I, mean, that was more of a I like that. that I like that a lot. Life's laughs. Life's snacks. Life's parchment. Yeah. Midnight snack. Bite of laugh. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, we wanted to we wanted to make it so it wasn't just we wanted it was we didn't want to yeah bottleneck ourselves into talking about one sort of thing. Yeah, we yeah because then that would limit us to like whatever we were talking like whatever the name whatever we came up with the name would have came up with we would have to actually talk about that. Yeah, whatever they, it was, they, you know, it wouldn't we wouldn't be able to, we would be selected to um like a uh, few topics. Yeah, like, when like we, we for a moment talked about doing some inside joke sort of thing but then it was like but then the audience doesn't get the joke and then we played around with like having it like the worcester podcast so like the region around where we are but then it's like limiting ourselves yeah we're limiting it starts to where that because no one in california is going to really care about what we're talking about because then yeah if if we call ourselves the worcester podcast but we don't talk anything about worcester people yeah exactly and then it's like we're stereotyping worcester people and then yeah it's just yeah we go down a bad path here (laughs) oh we are a bad path we are actually yeah pretty much (laughs) <laughs> but that's okay. Um, yeah, um, but back to the kind of topic we kind of almost touched on is uh, being an adult and what that's like. Um, the, the trials and tribulations of our life and what's going to go on and what's happening next. Also, uh, different fun things that go on and how, like, just like little thought ideas that we get. Yeah, little, little thought nuggets. That's yeah. a great name, too. Thought nuggets. Thought nuggets. <laughs> 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 We're little thought nuggets. What? what? <laughs> Welcome to Brain Nuggets. <laughs> That's a good topic. Oh my god. <laughs> I like that already. <laughs> we should change, change, our, change that, our name that, right now. That, yeah, that. you know, exactly. <laughs> Just change everything. We well, do we everything. Do. Well, in that case, uh, everybody, uh, subscribe. No. <laughs> right. Oh, Jesus. What else do we have to talk about here? It's like, well, well let's, let's touch back on this topic of being adult. It's like, because we very much have, we have our schedules, right? We, are, we work. Whatever hours we all work, we all work ridiculous, stupid hours in different yep. times of the day. So or go to school. A, lot, a little bit, whatever. We're all constantly moving jobs, getting new jobs, because we're still young, whatever. Yeah. Um, a lot of us in our group, um, we kind of refer to our group as a... We have 10 friends that are probably going to be interchanging in and out of this podcast. And even more. Um, probably yeah, even more, actually. Probably more, depending on... We'll probably... I love guest speakers and whatnot. I'll be fairly consistent. Um, I'm sure you guys will probably be fairly consistent. Um, but you might end up hearing some other voices around in the next coming weeks. Um, but it's so weird because a lot of what we do is almost, I don't want to say childish, but it's, we're still like, like we play a lot of games when we hang out, we do things like we play Dungeons and Dragons, we play magic, we do kind of goofy stuff, um, which doesn't feel adulty, you know? But we all have our individual adult lives. Apparently, I'm not an adult to John. <laughs> You're not an adult. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can. I'm the oldest one in the group, and it you can make kind of make sense why. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm actually a child too. It's okay. Yeah, well, it's like ask anyone. It, it, but it's it's weird. I think the biggest part about being an adult is drawing a line between when you can act like a child and when you can't act like a child. Yeah. It's it's like that's in yeah. my mind that's. A, the only limiting factor to being adult is like, can you turn it off when you need to, and can you turn it on when you need to? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think you can be silly sometimes. It depends who you're with too. If you're with like a significant other and stuff like that, I think you should be, you know, very just like uh, you should be yourself. Well, you yeah, know? I think that's that. what being yourself. No significant oh. other. <laughs> 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 okay. This just got dark. I've had one of those a long time. Talk. Do <laughs> are you? <laughs> I think this podcast should be dedicated to finding Tom a significant other. Dude, that is, we're shout out right now. <laughs> Any single ladies in there? <laughs> I don't think Please. he's on Tinder though. I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm actually desperate. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> No, but, but really, back to the back where you can pretend to be childish and adult. I'm being childish right now because I have no love in my life. <laughs> okay, all right. No, no, no. I'm being childish with the shield. <laughs> I don't don't kind of, tell them. What kind of childhood did you have? Well, first. Everything's horrible. Nobody loves me. More or less, dude. Yeah, and then right. it I mean, too. you guys have siblings. I'm the only child. Yeah, that's, yeah, so that's it's definitely awesome, significant. Uh, I don't know. That's weird to me. Like, what is it like growing up without anybody else in your house? See, that's the thing. You know, I don't know. You know, I lived before I, where I live now. Um, I used to live across from a cul-de-sac, um, and it, it was it, it was kind of 
and there were some difficulties for sure, some obstacles. I I think for sure, you know, um, the street I lived on was actually pr- uh, it was a pretty busy street too. People people would go down that street going like fifty miles an hour, and my parents weren't you know all that thrilled about me crossing the street, you know, because I was only like ten or eleven or so. So it's just or even younger, um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean. To each their own, I guess. You know, I love being an only child. I, I can't imagine having a sibling. I mean, I could, but I think I love the feel of being a sibling. Well, like, only child, I mean. That's the thing. I grew up with, obviously, two brothers and a sister. So it's like our house was always crowded. <laughs> and honestly, we're getting to the point now where it's like every the house is always less busy because everyone's always off doing something. Yeah. So it's really weird to be in the house with... Like, if it's me and my parents only for dinner, it's like, it's really weird because I'm used to having three other people there. Um, but no, it's got to be so weird to grow up with, like, like Ian, obviously, my younger brother, is, like, one of my best friends. Like, we hang out all the time. So I was like, and, and my older brother, Adam, he was, like, growing up, we used to just play all the time. We worked together all the time. We used to just hang out. It must be yeah. so weird to, like... Not yeah, it was definitely a little. There were days when there, it was very lonely for sure. There were days, not to be too depressing, but yeah, there were definitely days when I was kind of lonely. And you know, my parents are a little older than uh, most parents. You know, my mom, my mom had me when she was forty. Oh. I know, my mom just turning sixty five. Uh, what's say thirteen? Sixty five now. Yeah, Jesus. I know. Yeah, it's crazy. So it's just like, and I'm twenty three, almost twenty four. So it's just, I, it's definitely difficult sometimes. You know, and also, also it's like a different, totally different generation too. You know, they were the baby boomers, and then there's us. Yeah, like, I mean, there's so much difference between you and your parents. I like, did you hang out with your parents a lot? A little bit, I've yeah. Never asked you this. Yeah, like, I've known you since you were like five years old, and I've never asked. You've never asked this. I know. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know. I mean, like, I did. Yeah, I mean, it depends. I think what we're doing, and you know, I think also, you know, and I love my parents to death. Don't get me wrong, but I think there were a lot of things I, I disagree on with what they, you know, what they do or whatever else it is. And I'm sometimes I'm kind of totally different from. My parents' well, point yeah, of view of and everything else. And I think also it's just, but I think that's also ties into the fact that, you know, we're at that age where we're also adults, but we're also still like living under our parents' roof or, you know, whatever else the situation might be. Yeah, it was funny. My mom, yeah, it was a while ago, I guess, but she, I don't remember who she, she was talking to somebody, but she was saying how she views me and Ian more as roommates now than children. Oh, like obviously she still views us as children, but it's fine to hear her say that. It's like, oh, you're less children now. You're more roommates because we obviously we don't act like children anymore. We have yeah. responsibility, that sort of thing. Um, but I thought that was fine. I thought that was no, that makes sense. No, but it makes sense. So I can see that. Yeah. So it was kind of weird, but no, it's all. How about you, Todd? How about you and Gabriel? Growing up, crap. Me and Gabe. Uh, <laughs> Me it was Gabe. more of a sibling rib- rivalry than anything. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, it was a rivalry and a half. He knew how to push my buttons. I got yelled at from my parents when I tried to push his. Me and Adam, especially, knew how to fight. Like, we knew how to fight. We used to get heated. Really? Like, we get we get along great, but it's like, every once in a while, you just get so... Like, when we were little, he used to actually pee on my blankets. Like, <laughs> what? Like, he'd get mad at me. And I had this Tasmanian devil blanket. And he would, he'd get mad, and he'd just pull it out and pee on my blanket. Wow. And I would get so mad. Oh. He, got, he got me going. My mom would have just. <laughs> yeah, no, my mom too. My head. parents would have done that too. My oh my god! Have killed me if I did that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's like with Ty and everything else with like his brother and stuff. And they, I guess they took baths together when they were younger. And I feel like all, I feel yeah, like all like siblings did that. They did that. Yeah, that's true. And then, but I guess it's I don't know how normal it is for Ty to pee on his brother. But I mean, Wait, <laughs> yeah, so you, didn't hear that? you never heard that story. Yeah, I guess like so. What Ty one time? It was either Ty or Keith that it's a Keith is his brother. They're a uh, Japanese um, family, and I guess one of them I guess was just like, "Hey, Key or Hey, Ty," and then he just peed on the other person's face. I don't know. Never you've never heard that before. Whenever Ty like, gets on here, he'll as tell a him. Child, that's the best weapon. It's like I'm gonna pee on you uh, or what? something you like because it ruins. It. <laughs> Yeah, but now you can't do that as an adult because it's either no, going to turn somebody on or going <laughs> turn somebody on. What? I mean, I'm picture Tom in his college course. Yeah, Tom, like, what? please professor, share with us. Professor gives him a D and he's like, screw you, man. Just pees on the desk. We got marked by territory. <laughs> Oh god! Can you imagine if a, if 
we acted now like we did as we were kid when we were kids. Oh, we'd be insane. It'd be I, so funny though. <laughs> I, wait, you guys don't act like you were when you were kids. I mean, I mean, some people do. Some people like. Some people are just like they they don't get out of high school. Tantrums. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, you know, true, especially well, even like it goes back to like college and stuff like that. And you got people that are still like their senior year and stuff like that, but then they act like they're freshmen again. Yeah, there's there's some people they drink and they party that. over and over again like every other day or whatever else it is that they're <laughs> doing. And they think that you know they gotta live it up before they graduate, but they may not ever graduate because they're partying too much. You know, they get the tequila degree as someone says. No, I'm talking about like not even like acting immature, but like actually reacting to things like you were a child, like. I don't even know a good example. Something bad happens to you, like, in school, you actually just throw a temper tantrum. Like, throw yourself on the ground, <laughs> scream your lungs out. Wait, I thought that was just something they do on movies. <laughs> yeah, right? It's kind of messed up. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like, if, if we just, like, people never grew up, and we just acted like children. Like, mentally? Time. Yeah. But, but, like, mentally, physically, but then who's going to raise us, though? Like, well, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It'd be so funny. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to speak a language. Imagine? Yeah. Well, I mean, no, you'd be able to speak. Yeah, yeah, children but, can speak just fine. Yeah, but like, but how are you going to be able to teach, like, when you're a parent, when that person grows up, right? Yeah, why, how are they going to teach their kids? Well, that's the point. What's how the parents going to do is going to piss on the kid and be like, <laughs> no, it's like the kid throws also... a temper tantrum, the parent throws a temper tantrum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that I think it's a horrible circle. <laughs> That's what they mean by the circle. Well, of life. I mean that's what some some families are like. That unfortunately, you know. Yeah, I mean, right. like in real, honestly, in all seriousness, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, because well, it kind of comes I, for some reason it keeps coming back into my mind. And then like you see people on cops or whatever else on the TV show, <laughs> on this show and stuff like that. You see people that are like, oh, okay, and then they run away and dart away, and it then they start screaming. Blows my mind what some people. Do you see on the shows people, like that. and it's like, my God, how, who raised you? Mm-hmm. You know, and then it comes back, and then you see the the parent or whatever else, and they're just as bad as them. So it's yeah. just like, oh, I see where they get it from now. It makes sense now. No, it's honestly. There's so many subreddits on just people being stupid, and I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, yeah, there are a lot of... I, I go on YouTube sometimes, and there's, like, this... For car... It's, like, I think... Um, I forgot the name of the title. It goes, like, uh, U.S.'s top 100 stupid uh, drivers or something like it's that. Like, it's like a BuzzFeed video. <laughs> yeah, like, something like that. And it just, like, shows everyone, like, the stupid driver was in front of Because they all have dash cams or whatever else. And they just... You see the, the most ridiculous things. Like, the amount of people have dash cams. No, no, I'm surprised. Like, I'm, I'm no, like, a lot of people have dash cams, yeah. Well, well, a ton of people have them because of, like, in China and stuff, all the insurance fraud crap. Like, people just throw themselves in front of the car. Cars, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, okay, I need a dash camera. Yeah. Like, I'm like, sued. I thought it was, oh, it's in Russia. That I think it's that it's, it's legal. The they have to actually have one. It's required or something in Russia. Is it, is it actually? Is it actually yeah, required? I think so. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I have, to look, I have to look it up. I think there's somewhere. I don't know if it's in Russia. Yeah, I don't know if it's in Russia or if it's, like, in another country. But I know that there is one country where it's like it's you have to actually have a dash cam on your car whenever and yes it has to be running whenever you're driving the car of course that's pretty cool actually it makes sense I mean how often can how how can they how often can the police like get into that information do you have to like give it to them or can they just yeah I'm sure it's important I'm not sure hard drive in your car yeah I'm not sure how but how would they check it I'm not sure yeah are they gonna be well I mean it's it's one of those things if you ever got into a accent or something you could use that videotape as yeah for insurance purposes true what happens if i was like some chinese drug dealer that's like oh i need to go make a drug deal right now and then you're like oh wait my dash cam's on what well, am i gonna do turn your dash cam <laughs> turn your dash cam i'm on. like put a sock on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm not driving my car right now that's just uh you know i'm, I'm mowing the lawn yeah right. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah i mean i'm I trying know. to turn your car off the camera would also turn off so yeah. Can, so you can do all your skiing illegal things. <laughs> skiing illegal. Or you just I, I, walk to your location. This is hypothetical, you guys. I'm not actually right. a Chinese Yeah, okay, Tom. Like, do you guys watch uh, Black Mirror? Yeah, I I've seen one or two. Yeah. There's one episode where everybody has, like, recording devices in their eyes. Oh, that's like the, that was the second so episode. Yeah. it records yeah. everything or third they do. Yeah. And you can, like, play it back, like an actual recording. Yeah. And that would blow my mind. But that's the thing. You would live, because I remember that episode. I remember, like... You know, if you, because I remember that he started living in that moment. The guy that was, well, not to give any spoilers yeah, away, but I don't he, exactly. he, it's, it's but like he, but anyway, years. a guy le- or you know whoever it was, they lived in their memories. Like they did not do anything else. They just sat around and just were reliving their memories. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what happened to him. It was something. It was something. 
his wife was cheating on him or something. Yeah, like, life was cheating on him and everything else. Something and... like that. But it's like to be actually able to like replay memories and like analyze them. Yeah, so that'd be wild. that and it's just like you know people overthink sometimes. Are they that whole TV show? <clears throat> it's messed up. Ugh. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like Twilight Zone, but like a newer version. It look it's cool. I got through maybe three episodes, but then I was like, I I don't know. And some of them were weird. Like the so, first guy, like I to be the, bangs yeah, a pig. Yeah, yeah. You have to be in a certain mood for it. Yeah. Yeah. You never seen it? I've never seen it. No. I don't know. I mean, it's just you have to be in a certain mood for it. I think it's, for sure. It's honestly, it's so much. I don't even know how to describe it. It's it poses these weird social questions. It's like if you had cameras in your eyes, how would you react? How would society act? That sort of thing. So, so it's kind of interesting. To Sometimes watch I find and myself, think about. yeah, like in how would a country react if your president was forced to have sex with a pig? Yeah, like, I remember that. What? Yeah, first the first I'm telling you, Tom. First episode, these terrorists. Uh, it's terrorists, or something like that. It's been a while since I watched it. Or, they yeah. kidnap the prime minister's daughter, or like the princess, some of of London. The yeah, London of England, whatever. You whatever I, it was, yeah, in Britain. Um, and then in order to get the daughter back, the ransom was the president or the prime minister had to have sex with a pig on live television. That's actually a really funny ransom. Uh-huh. But <laughs> it's a funny but ransom. it was it was funny, but also like really messed like up. it's messed up and creepy. But what happened was like the whole country was busy like on the television like watching. That no one realized they released the princess like hours before the actual live showing. Yeah. Like they said, they, they set her free in the in London, like in the center of London. Yeah. But everyone was inside watching the television that no one noticed she was back. That's freaking wild. Yeah, yeah so right? he went through. He so went it's like she it. was free and had him like back to the Buckingham Palace or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> While the prime minister was having sex with a pig. Yeah. It was, it was. It was messed up. Yeah. So messed up. And he has, so and the prime minister has a, has, has a wife and kids. And yeah. And I remember she didn't for like it was all like up for like it was all like for show after at the end of it at the, the end of the episode yeah. and stuff. So it was just and then when I got inside the their house or whatever else, I just like went separate ways completely because I guess she never forgave him for having sex. Was it forgive him? She just like couldn't or just couldn't she be just with couldn't handle it. I mean, I wouldn't be able to look at somebody that fucked a pig. Yeah, but it was yeah, for a good. I, I don't know. Pig. Yeah, I mean, that yeah. well, that raises the moral question too, you know, and stuff. Yeah, I don't I mean, know. Well, I mean, the question is. It, it's weird, yes, but well, if you do it for your you own guys, child... Would you guys have sex with a pig to save somebody new? Who would it be? Yeah, it depends um, on who it is. Your mother. Oh, yeah. Easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fair, fair. How about you? Yeah, probably. Okay. How about one of us? But would you like it? But, uh, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> How much does this pig squeal? Oh, squeal. <laughs> oh God. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> would you do it for somebody in the group? That's a different question now. That is a different question. Depends who it is. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was going to say, if it's Josh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Josh can... Uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm kidding. No, I, I probably wouldn't. Just, just save one of you guys. I probably would. Uh, yeah. But then you have to watch it. Yeah, this is messed up. This is a messed, messed up to conversation. Watch it yourself. Oh. Oh. You know... <laughs> can we take that part out? <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's weird. That's weird. Oh. No, that that show though. The that show, show was weird. Yeah, that, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that that is a weird show. I'll give it a shot. It's on Netflix. Yeah, is it actually? It's one yeah. of those things you need to watch, expecting it to be really messed up. Okay. It's yeah. It's kind of. Have you have you seen the center? No. Center is kind of. It's it's a little messed. It's not as like it's not as as messed up as the um as Black Mirror, but it's definitely like. Really, it's up there for sure. Honestly, a lot of these TV shows. What gets me is there are people that have to write this. Yeah, and like people you, met, like yeah. things like Black Mirror, um, things like Criminal Minds. It's like where people commit these ridiculous murders and like horrible and gruesome. Like actual people come up with that and write it. Yeah, I it's mean, like can you imagine? Are there bases for these before they write them though? Is what yes, I feel like it's just like you have to something have some. to come up with. So it's like. There's gotta be some dark people writing those shows. I'm sure. Yeah. They're, I'm sure they're nice people, but it's like you gotta have some strange thoughts to be able to come up with that stuff. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely because I like if I'm trying to come up with something really messed up, I'm never gonna come up with some guy does it with a pig. Yeah, of, yeah no. On live television, I'm never gonna like well, yeah, get but, to that level. The thing is, if it was like 
me, you, and being like, oh, dude, what would be a terrible, what terrible, um, crap, like something that like somebody has to do in order to get their daughter back? Oh, dude, just make them have sex with a pig. And then everybody's laughing, and then somebody's like, wait a minute. <laughs> I know, it's a genius plan. <laughs> totally genius plan. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of like I want one of those writers to be the one who writes up our title for our podcast. <laughs> you know? Creative minds. Well, okay, well, yeah, but. No, but I don't know. Creative mind of his, yeah, or hers, yeah. I mean,. I don't know, but I do like New Life Plus. I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good name. I did like New Life Plus. It's kind of took like, us an hour to come up with something, but I mean, well, um, yeah, we came up with a lot. We did a lot of internet searching, a lot of just brain power that I that none of us have right now at the moment. But that's okay. Wait, yeah. not so bad. Well, it's so <laughs> it's almost like treating the title as a joke. Yes, and trying to come up with a joke on the spot. Yeah, you want it to be kind of like, like irony, maybe, a or you know those ice breakers that are like, "Oh, name a fun fact about yourself," and you're like, "What's your it, favorite can't color?" Use that yeah, can't right. use the hat. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Ooh, that's gonna make you sound like a psychopath. Like, oh, <laughs> I, know, right? I play League of Legends. I play Magic. Uh, Dude, there's nothing wrong with playing games. I will continue to play games until the day I die. That's yeah, I mean, I want to be die. I want to die playing like League of Legends or something. Well, I mean. Dude, you that fair, be, you, the, the amount of toxicity that goes into that game when you, we're playing. I know, right? We're toxic? Not at we're, all. We're not toxic. We just get tilted. <laughs> Honestly? Well, what does tilt mean for those who don't play video games? It's, just, it's fairly obvious. It's just... You, tilt. You get, what is tilting? You get aggravated, you get annoyed, you get tilted. You get tilted. You get, yeah, you get you get salty. <laughs> you get very just like... And it, it affects how you play, and then you get even more salty and tilted, mm-hmm. so it just kind of... They go hand in hand. That's the thing. I find myself... We've gone down so many weird rabbit holes. We're not even close to our topics. I don't know what our topic was to begin with. totally fine. <laughs> what was um, our topic? Our topic was talking about adulthood, but <laughs> let's continue going with this. That's fine. Okay. But see, this is I want this podcast to be very much. It's just we're talking and it gets and it gets going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm happy to just talk. Mm. Um, but no, I've been finding lately that playing games, I get so much more tilted playing games against you guys than with you guys. With us or no, yeah. against us? Like, if I'm on the same team as you guys, I'm like, all right, this is like group morale, morale thing. But if it's like three of us versus three of us, oh like, yeah, oh dude, oh, you it just I get if I, if one of you is doing better than me, I'm like, oh, this is the worst. <laughs> to be fair, we do target him. Yeah, we do, yeah, we do actually sometimes. It's okay. We all do it. I think we all do it to each other. Some games are like, yeah, let's just pick on John. Oh, let's pick on Tom. But it's like I, I don't know what it is about that. Is I don't know if it says something about me as a person. But it's like no, I think no, because I feel the same way about okay us. with losing to a stranger, but losing to one of you just gets me going. Yeah, no, it's no. I feel the same way sometimes. No, I think that's the thing. It's com- excuse me. It's competitive. It's very competitive, and like I think that's it's good to be competitive like that because if like we didn't care. You know, then, then how would we get better? I am such a competitive. It's kind of like you know, if a friend, uh, if whoever, like in my class, for example, if someone gets a better grade than me, and I'm like, oh, I knew, I if it's like if I know they didn't study as much as me, and they get a better grade than me, I get so frustrated, I get so mad, I get salty, I get tilted, I get tilted at nursing. But no, I mean, like it's just a thing. It's just a thing. That sounds like, horrible. I know. God, I'm just having yeah. such a bad day. <laughs> oh. Take your shot. <laughs> Extra 20 cc screen, boy. <laughs> you want the needle? I'm going to find the biggest needle I can find. Right, right. Stick it right in you. All right, anyways. Oh, did I miss the vein? Oh, I missed the vein. Whoops. <laughs> I feel like people in professions like that can get vindictive. Like, never to, like, actually hurt somebody. But it's no. like, you're taking blood, you probably missed the vein once or twice. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no. Everyone's bound to make mistakes, for sure. Everyone's bound to make, like, some kind of mistake, for sure. And I think, you know, I think... So no, I'm not talking you... about mistake. I'm talking about, like, the actually getting Oh, ridiculous. you think oh, so? Yeah. It's like, I want... It. Like, how many, like, waitresses or nurses or whatever have, like, done stuff that's probably not morally correct, but it's not actually going to hurt somebody, like, spitting someone's food. Missed the wow. Times. <laughs> that might... I <laughs> mean... Forget to empty your bedpan so the room stinks. That sort of thing. Well, I think some, oh, well, yeah, that's the thing too. You know, well, that's the thing. It's not even just nurses that you know. Sometimes it gets like that. It's like the CNAs, like the the nursing assistants and stuff like that. That yeah. you know, I think it depends. Well, I, there are, there are obviously there are very you know really good um, professionals out there, medical professionals, but there's also really crappy nursing prof or any professional out there. Yeah, of course. And it's no, just and and it makes you just kind of wonder. And it's like you know, how did you pass? whatever certificate program you're doing or something like that. But I don't know. Yeah, back to video games. Uh, Yeah, I get very salty sometimes at everyone else too, (laughs) at my friends. And I think it's mostly like, I think it's just, 
competitiveness and like our like a lot everyone has ego people can be like oh i have no ego or or, you know no but it's like if you don't have ego that's yeah you're lying or something like that it's like you're that you wouldn't be human because we all have like, yeah when you actually care about something you want to really we want to present ourselves a certain way it's I like, think even sometimes. though like we know their games and whatnot it's like we we actually care about these we've been playing them for a long time whatever game we're playing yeah and it was like we like to be competitive and we care about it so we get tilted sometimes yeah or even when we're playing ranked or like a ranked game where like our position in the game itself with other players matters you know like yeah. Not so, not so much matters, but it's like you can see like how you're doing against other people. Like, yeah, like, or like yeah, and the thing is too, like oh, if someone's gold five or something like that, and um, I'm silver two, it's like because silver it goes bronze, silver gold, yeah, yeah. and then plat, whatever it is, and and it's just like I want to be better than that. I want to, but then you know you feel like your team is holding you back. You get all these like different feels in your mm-hmm. in your gut, and you're just all like them I'm feels. Done. all them feels. <laughs> so it's just like I don't know. Yeah, and you get and you get tilted and stuff like that. But yeah, um, it's just it's just games. It's just life. That goes, that goes back to like the being an adult thing. It's like I feel like there's as a line. You get yeah, there's older, a line. it's easier to get aggravated. Yeah, you know? no, you I feel so? that. It's like because you because you can take because when you're younger, you just get mad and you're like, I don't know what to do. I just keep losing. I keep I just can't you, do you just, this. I can't do that. I but then as you get older, you can take a step back and think, okay. I saw I did this wrong over here, and that probably like this event happening from that going onto that going onto that. Well, no, but like I feel like I don't know if there's a stigma or something. Like older people tend to get aggravated quicker. You think? I think it's the other way around. Really? I to a certain point, it's all about how much just, stress it, you're. It's how much stress you're put under in the situation. I believe. Like if you, I guess, if so. you care too much, you're gonna you're gonna fail. If you care not enough, you're also not gonna get any better. So it's a balance, for sure, for, yeah. for sure. But you, you have to put in the care, and then you have to say, okay, let let me try something off the wall and crazy, in order to get a different perspective as to see like. What one example is? Me, me, Eric, John, and a couple of other friends, Tommy and Ty. They we play tennis. My <laughs> off the wall thing is to put as much spin in the ball as humanly possible, no matter what happens. That? <laughs> no matter what happens, even if it goes in the woods, I mean, it's not that it's like, time. We are bad at tennis. Let's oh. get let's get that out of the way for you. Oh boy! But Tom <laughs> does this stupid. He puts so much backspin on the ball. Yeah. When it hits your side of the court, it physically moves away. From, oh my god, that gets me going. <laughs> but that's what I do with my serve, and I'm like, okay, if I can do that with my serve, what's holding me back from doing it on like? Every on like most of my bat on like on my chop hits or whatever they're, they're called slices or dices and thrices. Anyways, but yeah, <laughs> I like to do thrices. <laughs> but yes, I do that, and it's just like they're very they're pretty good. Mm-hmm. Unless you see it coming, you're gonna be like, it's just coming right in front of me. Nope, never mind, it's backwards. Can't yeah, get that. but yeah, no, you got to do something ridiculous like that, or like hit it as hard as you can, even if it goes over 10, 20 times. Eventually, you're gonna say, okay. If I put it a little bit less power, but a little bit more topspin, it's going to go up and down. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's it's about not getting frustrated, just trying different things in order to get both better Results, and see yeah. what will work. Yeah. yeah. Like the news, like school experiment, science. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's true. Life's a journey, for sure. We're halfway there. <laughs> no, I hope barely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 46. Time to go, boys. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> okay, how about this? Would you guys rather go in a big bang or quietly? Oh, God. Like, how do you want to die? Like, what's the best way to what's die? The what's the setting? What's the setting? No, no, dude. What do you mean by no, big no. bang? Please elaborate. Big bang, big bang. Like, would you rather have, like, a, a glorious death where, like, people are like, I don't know why the fuck he did that. Or what? But he did it. Or, like, would you be like, okay, I am old. I am... I, I mean, it depends, yes, if you have a family and such, but blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. I think it depends. Like, I've always seen myself wanting to die, like, with my wife and my kids and grandkids around me. I don't know. I'm the kind of, I guess that's the, and, like, having that brief period of, like, looking back and reflecting. <coughs> and, and, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it would be, I think that's coming. Yeah, yeah, you actually made yourself coffee. <laughs> yeah, karma. No, I don't know. Maybe I'm the kind of guy that like wants that. I guess like I'm having that brief period before like I, I pass. Feel like everybody secretly wants that. Like, oh, we have a big 
you know, big family around you. Die old, but it's like if you had to die today. Oh, if I had, right. you had to die today, how would you do it? I'd go skydiving. <laughs> Just no parachute, no skydiving. parachute skydiving. I mean, we, you asked me if I had to. I'm like, that'd be cool. I'd, that'd be freaking awesome until like the last ten seconds. It'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. You'd probably start to panic, and it wouldn't be as fun. Oh, yeah. But I mean, you know, you're gonna die. At, at the same time, you're like, I accept it. I don't know. I feel, yeah, I feel like if you've accepted it, it's, then it's you're like, fine. It's like, except, it's like, if you're actually skydiving, your parachute doesn't go, then you panic. Yeah, no, then oh, I would yeah. panic. There's a difference. There's like, a I really, huge speaking difference. of skydiving, I really want to go skydiving. Uh, you skydiving. know, you're uh, by yourself on that because I hate heights. <laughs> Dude, I'd go with you. Do it. Let's do it. Wow. I, let's do it. Oh, I don't the cost. I think I it's, like 250, it's like 200, 250. Our friend Zoe did skydiving. She did. Oh, wow. yeah. oh yeah, I she did. So. Wasn't it in high school? It was like after she graduated, I think. I'm kind of jealous. I after we graduated. I would love to go. She's the only person I know who's ever skydived. But it sounds like a ton of fun. Nah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean? It does. It does. I, it's, it's like when you first, you do it like tandem with like a professional. So they yeah. know they know you what they're doing. you have like a backup parachute and stuff? And then a, pack, a, pas- a backup of the backup or something like that? So. I don't know. No, you have, you have, I, I, you think, I think if the backup fails, then you're done. Yeah. Well, that's... Unless, unless somebody catches you before you die. <laughs> yeah. I think you just like... <laughs> actually... I was I don't remember what I was watching, but if you're skydiving and your parachute doesn't fall doesn't work, aim for a tree. Aim for a tree? Yeah, because there's so much compression in the limbs of a tree. Yeah, you're gonna break some bones, you're gonna get hurt, but you're more likely to live than if you're just it, it breaks your impact, I guess. Well, like it breaks your velocity, I guess. Yeah, because I mean if you if you hit a tree, it's not just gonna you're not just you're not not done like you are if you're hitting asphalt. Or go for the or, water. Or, what about water? No, no, water is the no. same thing. Water, like, water surface tension, bro. Yeah. Surface tension. <laughs> surface tension OP. I oh, mean if you could true, if you drop true. your parachute in there first, maybe. Uh, they did that on Mythbusters. They tried, like, if you're falling, but if, like, you throw something, you ha- they did it with, like, a hammer or something to break the water tension, it doesn't work. No. no. Oh, that'd be really cool. You still take a it. A hammer? Or, like, did you say a hammer? Yeah, they used a hammer. To, like, break the surface tension? Yeah. Oh, Just I get mean, it, like... But it, it didn't work. Oh, okay. Damn. I'm thinking, well, like, a backpack. Like, I was thinking, like, a backpack, because you're, like, well, you have a backpack, and then you go fall that way, so, like, you have the... That's a lot extra... Has more weight than an actual... You know, True, hammer. but then I feel like you're gonna. Yeah, but it's not. It's not about the weight. It's the fact that you're displacing so much material when you hit. Yeah. Because you're hitting the surface of the water. All of the I don't know is the exact science behind it. Um, it depends on the, the, the kinetic the energy, maybe, or how something. Much energy, whatever. Um, but you have to displace all that water, which takes a certain amount of force. Yeah. We were talking about with our naming Newton's third law. If you put that much force <laughs> in the surface of the water, it's gonna push it back on you. Oh, yo, no, the the um, oh, what's it? The the G's or something like that. What what's the um? G force. G force. Yeah. G force. Is, is, is that not so something much like about that? The it's more about well, it's obviously. I mean, yeah, but like, it's the amount. It's because the water's impacting you as hard as you're impacting the water. Okay. Is is kind of a good way to put it. it. Makes so sense. It just, okay. I mean, yeah, that's true. Up. But yeah, no, I'm not scared. I don't know. I had this like, I don't know. I went, I got into, okay, not to go too deep here, but I got into a car accident maybe like five years ago and I had some little, I had a little bit of a hang time um, in my car because I, yeah, didn't I, I told you that, right? Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? I do not remember anyway, that. Anyway, <laughs> all right. I guess I'll just tell a story real quick to keep it brief. So basically I was coming home from school. I had this uh, 1990 Toyota Camry. A literal death machine. It oh was God, a death it machine. Was, it was, the seatbelts were like crusty. <laughs> crusty. Okay, oh, wait a minute. They they airbags were probably non-existent. <laughs> there were no airbags. There were no seatbelts. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Death this crap. thing was horrifying. It was fun though. I mean, okay, well, you see, anyway, it was an automatic, um, it was automatic, right? So, it had automatic seatbelts, and it had automatic transmission, um, but it had no um, airbags or whatever, anything else, anyway. They're not important, anyway. They're yeah, important. I guess not, not really. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> I was driving down the street, and where, um, in Paxton, uh, there is, uh, you can, you have to look to your right, in the middle of Paxton, there's a stop sign, you have to look to your right. Over your shoulder and stuff like There's that. There's no lawyer here. You don't need to make a case. And no one, <laughs> I know. I'm not helping my case here. But I mean, then again, it wasn't me. I was. It, that was not at fault. So this lady stopped there, but then she didn't stop fully, and she didn't see that I was like right, like past gunning it down the street. Yeah, I was I going would, like. She didn't <laughs> notice me going <laughs> eighty down the side road. I was going like 42, 43. What's the speed limit again? Speed limit twenty five. I'm pretty sure it was like 20, 35. Yeah. Anyway, well, anyways, um. So she t boned me, um, and I didn't have. There's no ABS brakes on this car because there wasn't. ABS no, <laughs> they weren't invented. Back then. Stop it, man. They they weren't even invented. So <laughs> were they in ninety? It, it doesn't really matter. It's I, not the I same don't know when ABS invented. Anyway, yeah, Probably. she hit me, and my car swerved out of control. I was hitting the brake; it, it failed, and I there was a cemetery um, right behind this church, and 
And there was a hole that would get this John would have been a quick there. walk if he died. Yeah. I, yeah, I could have, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I can imagine. Yeah, so there was a tree to the uh, right, right of me on the passenger side that caved in. Um, and then my car flipped, well, kind of turned onto oh, my also, driver's the side. The still on the tree right now. To this day, you can see where John hit a tree. Yeah, it is a mark there, still. Still, it's still there. I guess they're keeping it. It's, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's commemorating. Hard yeah, yeah, it's there. <laughs> hit a tree with a car, it tends to stay mine. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I was fine. There was only glass shattered everywhere. And, you know, a car was full. It was no, There was no plastic on the car. This is back when they made no plastic with your car. Unfortunately, a lot of cars these days have plastic like, all over. Well, at least some my car. With a crush zones? Yeah, I, I, I'll take that. Yeah. I mean, I guess, yeah, but no, this car was made of full, was full metal. And actually, it was still driving, actually, when I, the, I could rev the engine, the tires were moving after. You know that's bad, though, in a car, right? Like, you want the front of the car to compress when you hit something, because it absorbs a lot of the force. Well, yeah, I guess if, if your yeah. car just stays static the whole time, just to break. Well, no, it definitely all the oh, force translates well, to you going forward. True. Well, no, it didn't like. Oh, well, yeah, no, it definitely broke. Like half everything was kind of smashed. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, it's but like it's right. all of it. Was, there was no plastic, and I found that kind of interesting. <laughs> Except, I think the roof, I think, was plastic. But anyway, yeah. Um, ever since then, I've just never really had. Uh, an, ex- uh, an excitement for heights, I guess. Even when for I for heights, why? Because <laughs> heights, because it hit a tree. I know, because I hit you're the still tree. willing to go eighty and a forty. <laughs> well, you have a problem with heights. I don't you go do a car crash. I don't go. Okay, to be fair, I do not go eighty and a forty. I go forty five. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Sometimes fifty. Uh huh. But anyways, that's <laughs> John, beside the point. We're John not... doesn't speak. <laughs> a police officer is listening. <laughs> <laughs> not so a like... cop knocks on the door. <laughs> <laughs> police. <laughs> he's, just um, like he's not a cop, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Am I beating your team? John's life motto if they didn't see it, it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> speed limit's always a suggestion, right? Yeah, right. It's more of a guideline. <laughs> to be fair, John, I think I got pulled over for speeding more than you have. You I mean, have, I've probably. Never been I've, pulled over. I've been over. I've been pulled over like three times. Actually, that's not, that's not true. I got pulled over for my inspection sticker, but it only gave me a warning. You know, it's funny, oh, actually. I didn't realize it was a couple years ago. I, well, actually, no, a year ago, actually. I was driving around with a, a September license or uh, registration, mm-hmm. right? With a uh, September tag, and it was February. You know, Massachusetts huh. is one of the few states that actually still have re- registration stickers, or it's like yearly registration. Really? Yeah, like New Hampshire, it's like every two years. A lot of states don't have registration stickers. That's, That's interesting. That's a bit wild. I mean, I feel like for a certain know. amount, I feel like any car, like maybe 2010 and up, don't really need it. I mean, it's probably safer. I mean, but, it's probably but, safer, but it's really just a way to, to get pay money. extra taxes. Yeah. yeah, that's probably yeah, pretty much. Yeah. How much is it? Like forty it's bucks? Like Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Yeah. Thirty forty, depending on what place you go. But it's like a certain percentage of that goes to Massachusetts. Of course, yeah, gotta make their money. But then again, we don't have cl- tax on clothes, so we don't. No, I don't buy clothes. I don't, I don't think anything has. No one has tax on their taxes. I think food, clothing, water. Yeah, I don't think it's taxed anywhere. Well, no, I think in New York it's this tax on clothes. Oh, maybe. It, may, it maybe depends but on the New tell, New Hampshire, dra- uh, alcohol is cheaper, I think, or something like New that. New Hampshire, they have no sales tax. No yes. sales, that's what it is, no sales tax. How do they make money, then? Um, I'm sure it's just property tax are higher, that sort of thing. True. I don't yeah. know exactly, though, but I'm sure they make up for it some way. So, when you want to go buy your alcohol, kids, go to uh, New Hampshire. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> want to buy anything. Do not drink Hampshire. under that's, 821, please. Me and Ian, to buy our Oculus Rift, we went to New Hampshire. Really? Yeah, was yeah. it cheaper? Yeah, it was cheaper. You know, to pay the six percent. Wait, whatever. so which you didn't buy it on? I thought you bought it on like eBay. No, or we drove out just over the border to a Best Buy in New Hampshire to buy it. Oh my god! Yeah, we pre-ordered it online. We're like, we'll pick it up. We'll be there in an hour. <laughs> oh my god! You <laughs> no, really? It wasn't that bad. It How was much like was it? Half. I mean, it's like a four hundred dollar thing. So we saved a good chunk of money. Not a ton, but I mean, enough to make it worth the drive. I guess. Huh. And you also got to hang out in New Hampshire for a Yeah, we also got to hang out in New Hampshire for like five minutes and then we turned around. <laughs> oh, hell <laughs> so we can get the Oculus. Did, did you guys get some maple syrup? Or is that Canada only? I, I thought know. that's Vermont. Vermont has Vermont. maple syrup. You know, I've always wanted to go to uh, Rutland, Vermont. I don't know why. Yeah. Josh think... was born there. Yeah, <laughs> Josh, Josh was born there. <laughs> Rutland, Vermont. Moved to Rutland, Massachusetts. Um, <laughs> oh, Josh. <laughs> Hi, Josh. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Joshy. <laughs> But yeah, um, where were we? Where were we? Oh, I was talking about heights, but I don't know where you guys. Oh, are. dude, I, I, think it'd just be, I just think it'd be super exhilarating just to jump out of an airplane. It really would. Yeah. I get terrified yeah. of roller coasters. All right, I went to the. Oh, um, I love, love roller coasters. coasters. Oh, I hate those nope. like spinning rides, though. No, those don't bother me. me. Nope. Act, but the, like the actual roller coasters. You know, so it's though. it's crazy. I went with my girlfriend um, to Marshfield. Or not, yeah, Marshfield or something like that. And, like, we were going to the beach at Ipswich. Um, and on the way there, we saw that at Marshfield, there was, like, this, um, or Malden, or I don't know where it was. But there was, anyway, yeah, there was a um, uh, 
what do they call them? Not circus. Um, carnival. 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 Yeah, it's something a like fair. A fair. Yeah, yeah. there had a fair go. going on there, and my girlfriend was like so excited, everything else. So I was like, all right, we definitely Honestly, have to go. Some of those traveling fair rides are those are kind of they're terrifying. It's like you know the like minimum level of effort put into those. Oh yeah, they're a little janky. Yeah. Little well, janky. we went on these rides, and there was one where we thought like I forgot what it was. I think it was called the Zipper or something like that. They put you in a cage, right, and then you go up and down, and you go sideways, kind of, and it was just. And we thought, oh, they just go up and like a Ferris wheel kind of thing, but a little bit faster, right? Yeah. No, this thing goes up and down and brings you upside down and stuff like that. And I was sweating. I was dying. <laughs> and she had no idea either. She loves roller coasters. And I'm just like, ah, and she's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, ah. I, was like, I was on Reddit the other day and there was this carnival ride. It was one of these, one of those spins, but you're not going to strap it or anything. You, you just lay on the wall. And this centripetal force was yep. on. But some kid before the ride started ran out into the middle. And as it was spinning, he was like playing around in the middle. Oh no! Well, there's one. There's was like, like an alien. He was fine. There was like an oh, alien okay. spaceship. Oh, like, oh, dude, I, that that ride is sick though. I went on that when I was younger. Which I was just laying on the wall. Spaceship? Oh, the ones that force it all. Yeah. Oh my those god, I love cool. those. Yeah, that but isn't super it like? Fun. I feel like I don't know because you start standing up right though, right? I mean, at the end of it, but like once once you get onto the wall, the the speed is so high, you just like yeah, stuck. it's like you try to pull yourself off. Yep. It's like, yeah, Whoa. it's freaking awesome. Oh like, my god, I thought about going on that one, but that was like the last ride, and I was like, you know, I think I'm also I'm just gonna watch you. I can't, I couldn't watch what though. There's another thing I saw on Reddit. I spend too much time on Reddit. I'm realizing now. <laughs> wow! It's like damn. <laughs> um, but life. they had an air jet pointed at a um, skateboard wheel. And they got it rotating fast enough that it actually like expanded to the size of a donut and then exploded. It was really That's cool. freaking sick. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm just getting night- I'm getting flashbacks of that day now, and I'm just like, nope, can't handle it. <laughs> of the roller coaster day, yeah. I get flashbacks to driving with John. <laughs> Those are good days. Hey, no, we got to that. We dude, went to LCS. No, we went to LCS dude. right to the train station. At a what was it called? Grand Station. We were we were to the T, the, the Riverside. Yeah, Riverside. Yeah, right. Everything else. It was a forty-five minute drive, right? We got there in thirty. Yeah. Because I drove. We got there so fast. We got there fast because I was, was going eighty. Horrifying. I'm glad I drove myself that day. It was so scary. Yeah. It was not scary. It's honestly the highway is not the scary part with you. It's the side roads that you decide. Oh yeah, John. What do you mean? John's like highway side road, same thing. <laughs> what <Whatever. laughs> My girlfriend will attest to that. She thinks I'm a fabulous driver, right? Uh, she's been lying. To yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm kidding. You no, know, she she's like we're 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 working on it. Don't worry. That's oh that's God. what yeah she tells yeah, she tells everyone <laughs> we're working on it. We're working on it. We're we're gonna we're gonna. So now I'm like trying to keep myself. I'm gonna I'm like you know what I'm gonna stay in the middle lane. I'm gonna stay in the middle lane no matter what. On the so we the ten of us have been telling you for years. <laughs> That your driving sucks and you're going to kill yourself. And a girl <laughs> comes along, you've known her for less than a year, like, oh, John, your driving's crazy. And you're like, I'm going to fix it now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and yet that's he, fine. And he won't go skydiving. Won't go skydiving. I cannot go skydiving. I don't listen know. To us. Listen to us. I will never go sky- I mean, okay, maybe, I don't know. It depends. If, it depends if I know those extra, you know, things in there. <laughs> yeah, he's whipped. That's exactly what <laughs> I'm not whipped. <laughs> She will never convince me to go. She's on got a, a leash around his neck. She will never convince me to go on a uh, sky, let's go skydiving. Never, go skydiving. never, never, never. I could never. In a hey million Morgan, years. can you convince John to go skydiving? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she would never. She, hey, she John, would be able to. Want to go skydiving? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Already strapped in, guys. That's already have Reservations have been made. No He's like, let's go. I'll, you know what? I'll do that. I'll fly the plane. You guys can skydive out of the plane. All right, I'll be that guy. We'll do it at a really fast speed, like three hundred, or you know, whatever how fast they go. We'll go the fastest speed, and then you guys can jump out of that. Okay, that's fine. It's the same thing. We're going to down to the ground. Yeah, you're gonna be moving fast regardless. I know that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been on an airplane before either. You've actually, never you've before. never been on an never. airplane. I never flown. Oh god, wow. I've been in more airplanes. So, than, oh, I've been in a lot of airplanes. Yeah, no, I've been it's not airplanes. Um, I mean, we went to the, I, the UK last year. I'm kind of terrified, Just honestly. I'm scared. very terrified. Really? It's not, it's, yeah. They're not scary at all. I'm not. Well, you I'm not. You don't even feel it. You don't even notice it. Yeah, I can't, I'm not going to be able to get the window seat. The only reason flying a plane sucks is because you're in there for so long. Yeah, it's just like a little economy. It's just like you've got no space. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I want I want to fly first class at one point. Oh, dude, just to do it, just to sick. do it. It's like I know it's expensive, but it's like it seems worth it, you know. Yeah, but then you actually want... it depends on the plane. Some of the planes you walk through in the first class looks like ah, oh, this is kind of subpar. I expect better for like an extra two hundred dollars for a ticket. 
Yeah. Oh, dude, you gotta get in like the royal. You gotta get like ones. the good, like the, the good airlines. Like, the, the, the bed and you get everything. The recliners. You oh. get the leather seats. Oh, no, no, they have even better than that. Some of them. Are yeah, like, they do. I saw. Like, you how much are those though? Those are like a good, like you got some ten like, thousand massage chairs. And yeah, you, those you are get good. Get a bed with those. Yeah, the you bed and everything bed, else. You get really? Room service. Everything. Yeah. I feel like a room. Yeah, you get a. It's like a hotel one. Yeah, that's gotta be like a private jet sort of thing, though. No, it's like it's. I think it's actual it's, like. I'm sure like none of the standard airlines do that. No, like, no, no. American no. Airlines doesn't, doesn't have. It's, it's like for, rich, for like super rich people. Yeah, but like, yeah. yeah, but like I would never spend that. I don't know. I mean, if I, I feel like by the time you get to be like money, a once in a lifetime oh. thing. It's like I'm gonna go to London for a couple weeks. I've never. Well, you need to have money class. for going to London. Though. Yeah. That's it. You're gonna have to That's make sure. London's so nice. I own an apartment in London. It rains all there all the time, doesn't it? Is that stereotype? I don't know. It might rain a lot. Who knows? I don't know. It's pretty safe. I like it there. I'll, I'll just drive. I'll go to South America. Oh, you're gonna drive to London. Yeah. Right? How'd you know? Oh, dude, what? we can build a bridge to London and ta- and and do toll bo- toll roads. Why don't we just build a car? Time? That that's a that's a genius idea. Why don't dude, we build a we car? We make so much Yo, money wait. building a bridge across. The Why don't we build a yeah. car? Easy. It's great. <laughs> we'll build a car that floats on water. No, no, no. That's what. Well, great. we could call it a boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guys. I don't know that's that's show. That's somebody's show. All right, boys. I think at that we've reached about an hour. We're going to call it there. Thank you guys for listening. It was great to have you here. Um, we're going to try to do this once a week, I think. Something like that. Yeah. We'll see. Um, anyway, it was a blast. Thank you for listening. Um, feel free to like us, subscribe to us. We're going to try to get this on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, um, all the different platforms we can. Um, until next week, we'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.